Welcome Bearcats back to Jackson Square. Today we're going to be focusing on dividing fractions as well as finding the greatest common factor. So let's dive right in into the assignment for tonight. We're going to take this first problem number three which says eight divided by four fifths. Remember we don't divide fractions we multiply by the reciprocal. First we have a whole number and we talked about yesterday how to make a whole number into a fraction. You do that by placing it over 1. Then we're going to change this to a multiplication expression. 8 over 1 multiplied by the reciprocal. The reciprocal is 5 fourths. We multiply straight across to get 40 over 4. If it is an improper fraction, we always want to make it a mixed number. How do we make it a mixed number? We use Tybo, top in, bottom out. We divide. If I'm dividing, I say how many groups of 4 in 4? 1. Zeros less than 4, check off my 1, bring down my 0. How many groups of 4 and 0? 0. 0 times 4 is 0. Nothing left to bring down. My answer would be 10. If you don't have a remainder, then you don't have a mixed number. You just have a whole number answer. So don't try to make it fit. If there's no remainder, then there's no whole, there's no whole number and fraction part. It's just a whole number answer. Let's look at number one. So number one says five ninths divided by two thirds. Again, we don't divide fractions. We multiply by the reciprocal. So we're gonna go ahead and make this a multiplication expression. Five ninths times the reciprocal of two thirds, which is three halves. Again, we multiply straight across, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. We're gonna get 15 over 18. I can look at 15 over 18 and I know that they are multiples of a certain number. So this can be simplified. If you don't know what that number is, you're going to make factor trees. 15 and 18, do your branches, and you want a pair of factors you can multiply together. Two numbers you can multiply together to get 15 and 18. Remember, we never, ever, ever put one in a factor tree, a prime factorization tree, because one is neither prime nor composite. To be prime, you have to have one fact, two factors, sorry, one in itself. One only has one factor, one. So a pair of factors for 15, three times five, those numbers are both prime, so I circle them. For 18, I'm going to do 6 and 3. 6 is prime, I circle it. I'm going to break down my 3 to 2 times 3. Remember, we want to write out our prime factorization. What I've done now is just the factor trees. Put them in order from least to greatest. 3 times 5. 18 is going to be 2 times 3 times 3. And we are looking for what they have in common. We're looking for a couple of something that they share in both lines. As I look, I see that they share a couple of 3. And that is all they have in common. So I get one invitation for them. And that is my GCF. My GCF is 3. I take my GCF and I go back to my problem, my fraction, and I use my GCF to simplify my fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator by it. How many groups of 3 in 15? 5. How many groups of 3 in 18? 6. So my final answer is going to be 5, 6. Let's go ahead and take a look at number 15. Again, 15 says 15 6 divided by, sorry, let's take a look at number 5, which has a 15 in it. 5 6 the 16 divided by 5 8. We do not divide fractions. 
we multiply by the reciprocal. So let's change this into a multiplication expression. And then after my multiplication symbol, I need to make the reciprocal. Remember that's when the A and the B change positions, they switch. Once I have my reciprocal done and I've changed the multiplication, I multiply, multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. If you need to do some side work, go ahead and do that. 15 times 8 is going to give me 120. And 16 times 5 is going to give me 80. This is an improper fraction. So again, whenever you have an improper fraction, you want to make it a mixed number by doing Tybo. Top in, bottom out. 120 will go inside of the house and 80 will go outside of the house. I know that 80 cannot go into 1. Can 80 go into 12? No. Can 80 go into 120? Yes. How many times? One time. 1 times 80 is 80. I subtract. I'm going to get 40 is my answer, which is my remainder. And then I make this a mixed number. My mixed number is going to be 1, that's my quotient, my remainder over my divisor. And again, as I look at this, I can tell that 40 and 80 have a common denominator. If you're not sure what it is, or if you think that you um, can start with 10, you can do 10. It's not the greatest common factor, but you can just start with a common factor. If you start with a common factor, you just have to divide more than once. So let's just practice how to find the GCF. So we want to find the greatest. So I'm going to make a factor tree for 40 and a factor tree for 80. For 40, it would be 4 times 10. I'm going to break down my 4. 2 and 2, break down my 5, I'm sorry, 10, 2, and 5, and I'm done with that tree. For 80, it would be 8 and 10. 8 is composite, it breaks down to 2 times 4. 4 is composite, it breaks down to 2 and 2. Remember, we're only circling numbers that are prime. And again, over here, I break down my 10, I'm going to do Five on this side and circle it and two on that side and circle it. I'm going to write out the prime factorizations in order from least to greatest. Two times two times two times five. Eighty is one, two, three, four. Two times two times two times two times five. And I'm looking for what they share. I'm looking for couples that they share in both lines. I see a couple of two, they'll get an invitation. I see another couple of two, they'll get an invitation. I see a third couple of two, they get an invitation. And I see a couple of five, they'll get an invitation. So you bring all of those down. Two times two times two times 5. Remember we want to multiply all of those together to get our GCF and only multiply two numbers at a time. 2 times 2 is going to give me 4 and 2 times 5 is going to give me 10. 4 times 10 is 40 and that is my GCF. I take my GCF and I go all the way back to my problem, my mixed number and I want to simplify it by dividing my numerator and denominator by 40. I'm going to have 1 and 1 half as my final answer. I hope that this was helpful and remember, good luck Bearcats!